Hi, welcome back. So today we will see like different ways to hex mass as a hollow cylinder. So firstly, we will see like how to create. Uh, we will just create a hollow cylinder first. And uh, just I will choose any one axis, and this is fine. And, uh, we'll create one plane. Once this plane is created, I will just create two circles. Uh, this is fine. Uh, I will create 30. Then uh, I will just create one more circle in the same plane. One second. Yeah. So when this is done, uh, I will just uh, delete this one. Sorry, I just need to go to split operation and I will delete this surface. Sorry, yeah, and sorry, I need just need to delete uh, this surf, uh, split this surface through this line. I'll do this and split this. When this splitting is done, I can delete this uh, surface. Now what can I do is to just extrude this uh, surface to make a hollow cylinder. 40 is fine. Okay. So this way our hollow cylinder is created. Now there are various ways to hex mess it. Uh, like the, it is having two mappable surfaces. Uh, so we can mess this initial part, the inner circumference, and then we can extrude this to outer surf surface. Or we can do it like uh, we can just mess this face and then we can extrude this. Or we can just cut it and we can just mess this face and we will revolve it so we will go to one by one so let me just do uh yeah so let me just do this most simplest one uh is as you can see if you go to this map option uh, it is coming to light uh yellow and this means it is mappable at one direction uh, just I will go to this 2D uh, freeform mass option and I will just try to mess it via 3mm. So I will just put here 52. Okay, now what I can go here is I can go again to topology extrude just I will select this mess and just this target I can select I think it should work yeah so this way your uh, mess is generated and uh, uh, if you can see here uh, it's currently 9.5 mm and if you want to change this you can just go to extrude okay uh, yeah you just need to go to here parameter file and uh, um, criteria file is also 2mm set huh? okay what we can do here is Uh, we can just put some nodes here if I want to control this what I can do here is uh, I can go to here a freeform mess and just I can mess this also okay and then I can use this as a guide so I can again go to topology extrude and then 
I can just click on oh, sorry. Can just go to extrude and then click on this face mesh and then target I can select this. Okay, and guide I can select these elements if I want. Yes, that should potentially work. So if I go to components, there will be one solid map component and I can just hide this geometry. So you can see that like uh, my hex mass has been generated. Okay, now I'll just delete this, delete this solid component. Okay, so I'm left out with this face and I will also delete this or I can let it be. Uh, I will just undo this operation. Okay, I can I will delete this solid map. Okay. Now the other way is to mesh this part, this outer circumference and to extrude here. Or mesh this inner circumference and extrude it outside. So I have already mesh this outer circumference. Uh, just I will also mesh this for the time being. This is 52, done, okay, now I will just go from outside to inside, that is, this is the second way, just click on these elements by face and then I can just go to this and these elements I can select and this element I can select by face. So just no need to choose target even and your hex mass is generated. You can see here. Yeah. So this, this is one of the way also to generate the hex mass. Uh, the one of the more simpler ways we know that it is a revolving solid. So just we can do go here to F9 uh, uh, split option and then we can go to this plane we can just cut it anywhere you want and split this okay okay I will delete this also mess okay now we are left with this so i will just hide this solid now i can mess this face this face has been meshed and now i can control this also and i can control this length also and this radii also how many elements i want and then once this is done you can go to uh, topology revolve option and then you can go choose elements as always axis uh, okay one second okay i just need a central node Okay, once the center node is created, now I just go choose this elements, axis this way and I will put 360 degree and uh, I need, just need approximately, suppose I need 12, uh, 20 elements across this circle 
and I will click OK. So this is done. Now uh, this I need to get rid of this 2D element. So how can I do it? This 2D element I can isolate. Click on this right click and uh, I can press isolate here. Isolate and I can just go to E and elements and delete this. Now I am left out with 3D mesh but this 3D mesh is not connected in this way. So I just need to go to uh, validate equivalence and just choose this elements and this tolerance I will give 0 0.02 and you can see that it will say this is the elements you want to equivalence one second yeah this is the elements you want to equivalence I say yes and this has been equivalenced so this is the the third method to do the hex massing of the hollow cylinder uh, this is all about this hex massing of hollow cylinder uh, you can do this with other circular uh, solids also uh, yeah thank you have a great day bye